Hello everyone and welcome to our study of Romeo and Juliet. We are in Act 2, Scene 6. This takes place in Friar Lawrence's cell and this is the scene in which Romeo and Juliet get married. Let's read on to see what happens. Scene 6, Friar Lawrence's Cell Enter Friar Lawrence and Romeo. So smile the heavens upon this holy act, That after hours with sorrow chide us not. Amen, amen. But come what sorrow can, it cannot countervail The exchange of joy that one short minute gives me in her sight. Do thou but close our hands with holy words, Then love-devouring death do what he dare. It is enough, I may but call her mine. These violent delights have violent ends and in their triumph die, like fire and powder, which, as they kiss, consume. The sweetest honey is loathsome in his own deliciousness, and in the taste confounds the appetite. Therefore love moderately, long love doth so. Too swift arrives, as tardy as too slow. Here comes the lady. Oh, so light a foot will ne'er wear out the everlasting flint. A lover may bestride the gossamer that idles in the wanton summer air, and yet not fall. So light is vanity. Enter Juliet. Good even to my ghostly confessor. Romeo shall thank thee, daughter, for us both. As much to him, else is his thanks too much. Ah, Juliet, if the measure of thy joy be heaped like mine, and that thy skill be more to blazon it, then sweeten with thy breath this neighbour air, and let rich music's tongue unfold the imagined happiness that both receive in either by this dear encounter. Conceit, more rich in matter than in words, brags of his substance, not of ornament. They are but beggars that can count their worth. But my true love is grown to such excess, I cannot sum up some of half my wealth. Come, come with me, and we will make short work. For by your leaves you shall not stay alone till Holy Church incorporate two in one. All right, so this is another short scene. Let's go ahead and kind of analyze what's happening here. We have Romeo and Friar here at the beginning together, and they are waiting for Juliet to uh, arrive. Romeo is so excited, cannot wait. And Friar Lawrence kind of has a little bit of foreshadowing here. He says these violent delights have violent ends and then their triumph die like fire and powder. He's basically saying that, uh, you know, things that start fast like this can kind of end fast like this too. And we know for a fact that is what happens. And honestly, this is kind of true of human nature, too. How many of us have seen the young couple that is so in love so fast and they're soulmates and, oh, and they're their bae and, oh, where were they before then? And they've known each other for like two weeks. And then another two weeks later, it's like they hate them more than anyone. Well, this is where uh, Shakespeare is so good at kind of pegging our human attributes and personalities because this is still true today. And he also says two... Uh, he says, therefore, love moderately, long love doth so. Too swift arrives, as tardy as too slow. Again, you know, you need to slowly work your way up to deep, true love. And if you just jump in really fast, then it's, it's probably not going to last very long. Here comes Juliet, though, and Friar Lawrence still agrees to marry them. And basically... That is kind of what happens at the end of the scene. He, he says, come, come with me and we will make short work for by your leaves, you shall not stay alone till Holy Church incorporate two in one. Basically, we see that Romeo and Juliet are kind of all over each other. They're so in love. And basically, he's not going to let them just uh, be alone because they're, they might have some sin if they're not married quick. And so we see Friar Lawrence kind of wishing them to get married speedily. All right, I hope that clears up any misunderstanding in the scene, and I look forward to you joining us for Act 3 of Romeo and Juliet. Tune in later for more videos. Thanks again. Bye.